name is Stephen Dorsey, and today I'll be going over the article by Wurr and Hofgut entitled Raider Training for, uh, for Performance Appraisal, a Quantitative Review. The present study presents a framework for the evaluation of Raider Training by comparing four different Raider Training strategies, Raider Error Training, Performance Dimension Training, Frame of Reference Training, and Behavioral Observation Training, across four different dependent measures, halo errors, leniency errors, rating accuracy, and observational accuracy. We'll discuss each type of rater training, the method of the current study, then we'll discuss the results of the meta-analysis and end with the limitations of the study. The article describes rater error training as training that enables raters to recognize and avoid rating errors. The premise of this type of training is to familiarize raters with common errors such as leniency, halo, central tendency, and contrast errors, and to encourage raters to avoid these errors. This would result in the direct reduction of rating errors and hence more effective performance ratings. Performance dimension training deals with the dimensions of performance that will be used in the ratings. Raters are taught to recognize and use the appropriate dimensions on which ratings will be required. This should lead to more relevant judgments and more accurate ratings. This training is based on the premise that the effectiveness of ratings can be improved by familiarizing raters with the dimensions on which performance is subsequently relate, rated prior to the observation of that performance. Frame of reference training involves emphasizing the multidimensionality of performance, defining those performance dimensions, providing a sample of behavioral incidents represent, representing each dimension, along with performance represented by each incident, and then practicing and giving feedback using those standards to evaluate performance. Frame of reference training attempts to train raters with respect to common evaluative standards. The main goal of frame of reference training is to train raters to share and use common conceptualizations of performance while making evaluations. Behavioral observa observation training focuses on raters' observation of behavior as opposed to raters' evaluations of, of those behaviors. Observation includes the detection, perception, and recall or recognition of specific behavioral events. Behavioral observation training also includes any methodology that focuses on the observation or recording of behavioral events, such as note-taking or diary-keeping, as opposed to information integration and evaluation. <clears throat> the assumption with this type of training is that better observation of behavioral information will result in higher levels of recall or recognition, recognition which will result in better ratings. Now that we've discussed each type of training, we'll now discuss the present study's methods. This meta-analysis began with a thorough search of the literature, concluding with a total of 29 empirical studies, resulting in a to total number of 71 effect sizes, or data points, for this study. This study is accumulating effect sizes across all 29 studies and comparing the effect sizes for each training method across the four dependent measures. Thus, the study found Raider error training appears to be moderately effective at reducing halo error with an effect size of 0.33, a little bit less effective at reducing leniency errors with an effect size of 0.21. It also indicated a moderate effect size of 0.26 for increasing Raider accuracy. However, there was a small negative effect size of 0.17 for observational accuracy, which seems to indicate that this training is a little bit less effective at increasing observational accuracy. Performance dimension training appears to be moderately effective at reducing halo errors with an effect size of 0 0.30. However, results indicated a small overall increase in leniency errors as shown by the negative effect size of 0.14. Performance dimension training also had a small effect size of 0.13 for increasing rater accuracy. However, there were no data available for, ob for observational accuracy. Overall, frame of reference training seemed to be the most effective individual training program at increasing rater accuracy with a large effect size of 0.83. Frame of reference training also had a small effect sizes of 
0.13 and 0.15 for reducing halo and leniency errors, respectively. Frame of reference training also had a moderate effect size of 0.37 for increasing observational accuracy. For behavioral observation training, there were no data available for halo or leniency errors. However, behavioral observation training did show a large effect size of 0.77 for increase, increasing rater accuracy and a moderate effect size of 0.49 for increasing observational accuracy. After discussing how each individual training program affects the four dependent measures, the article goes on to explain how combining some of the, pro combining some of the programs together could influence the outcomes of the training program. Thus, the article discusses four combined trainer programs, Raider Error Training and Performance Dimension Training, Raider Error Training and Frame of Reference Training, Raider Error Training and Behavioral Observation Training, and Behavioral Observation Training and Performance Dimension Training. For the combination of Raider Error Training and the Performance Dimension Training, overall, moderate effect sizes were found for reducing halo and leniency errors at 0.38 and 0.27, respectively. However, no data were available for rating accuracy or observational accuracy. These results tended to be a little bit higher than when ra rater error training is uh, considered by itself. When looking at the results of combining rater error training and frame of reference training, the study showed moderate effect sizes for reducing halo and leniency errors at 0.43 and 0.67 respectively. It also showed a moderate effect size of 0.52 for increasing rater accuracy. However, there were no data points available for observational accuracy. Rater error, rater error training in combination with behavioral observation training revealed a small effect size of 0.10 for reducing halo errors and a small negative effect size of 0.08 for leniency errors while also showing a large effect size of 1.27 for increasing observational accuracy. There were no data points available for rater accuracy. When combining behavioral observation training and performance dimension training, results indicated a large, a large negative effect size of 1.03 for halo errors and a moderate positive effect size of 0.35 for leniency errors. They also indicated a large positive effect of 1.14 and 1.10 for both rater accuracy and observational accuracy, respectively. The article then discusses its limitations. As with any meta-analytic studies, the results are heavily dependent on the representativeness of the studies included in the analysis. Thus, the current study made every attempt to locate as many empir empirical studies related to rater training as possible. Also, most of the individual rating, rating training programs had enough data sets to interpret the results. However, behavioral observation training and the combination of training programs had a lower amount of data points, and thus their results must be interpreted cautiously. Finally, the study also points out that there are other potential moderators of the dependent variables that were not considered in the study. Thus, future meta-analysis should take these moderators into account. Thank you.